Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Shar Weekly. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can do dependency injection using storyboards in iOS 13. So this is one of the things that you were not able to do if you were using any previous version of iOS, like iOS 12, 11, and so on. If you have a storyboard, which I do, and I have multiple controllers in the storyboard, I have a view controller, and I have a movie details controller. You can see this is my view controller right here. And this one is the movie details controller. Now, if I want to click on this button, which is show movie, and go to this particular controller, the second one, but also pass a movie to this controller, I cannot really do that in iOS 12 using storyboards. So how can I do that? if I have to create this controller from the storyboards. Well, in iOS 13, you can actually inject things. You can do constructor dependency injection. So let me go ahead and show you how you can do that. This is our movie details controller where we want to go. So the first thing we want to do is to create an another init function over here, coder, ns coder. And the second argument is where you will pass in your custom data. So I'm going to go ahead and say, and this is going to be a movie. So I'm going to go ahead and pass in movie. And now I can go ahead and create a movie object or a movie property and go ahead and assign it. So self.movie equals to movie and then super.init and then call the base one, which is the coder. I will also have to create a required init, for, init function or the constructor. And you can say whatever over here you want. Init coder has not been implemented or so on. Let's go ahead and build that. So this is a new constructor or initializer that we have added into our movie details view controller. This will allow us to pass a particular movie. So now let's see how we can actually pass it. I'm going to go back to my view controller. And over here, I have a show details function. This is fired when you click the button. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a movie. And the movie will have some sort of a title. I'm just going to say Lord of the Rings. We don't really care about the genre, but I'm just going to pass in fantasy over here. Now I can go ahead and create my movie details view controller using the storyboard. So let guard movie details view controller equals to self dot storyboard. And in the previous versions, you can see that in the previous version, we only had the instantiate view controller and we pass in the identifier. But in this version, we also have view instantiate view controller passing in the identifier and also the second argument, which is a creator. So let's go ahead and use this one. I've already set up the identifier or the storyboard ID, which is actually called movie details view controller. And I can show it to you where it is. If you go over here, click on the movie details view controller, you can see right over here, we have the storyboard ID. Okay, let's go back. So we are already passing the movie details view controller storyboard ID. The second argument is actually the creator, which is going to get access to the coder. And this is our opportunity to return something over here. So we can actually go ahead and say return movie details view controller, passing in the coder and the movie. So passing in the coder and the movie. So this is the constructor or initializer dependency injection. And we can remove this view controller return type over here. We don't really need that. And all of this stuff we can remove. We're missing the else block right now. So let's go ahead and add the else block. Else, we're just going to say movie details view controller not found. And finally, we can actually go ahead and push it into the navigation controller. So navigation controller dot push view controller which in this case is movie details view controller animated true is fine. Let's go ahead and build that, build successfully. 
And now let's go ahead and run it. If we run it, we should be able to click on the Show Details button. That will execute all of this code. I'm going to create a Movie Details View controller from the storyboard, bypassing in the movie as a constructor argument, and then adding it or pushing it to the navigation controller. And that will take us to the next page or the next view where we can actually display the title, which you can see over here in Movie Details View Controller. Well, we actually haven't really displayed the title, so let's go ahead and do that also, or else it will simply go there, but does nothing. So self.title equals to self.movie.title. All right. We might have to run it again now to see it in action. Let's go ahead and run it again. So this was not included in other previous versions of iOS. So if you were using any previous version, you cannot do dependency injection or constructor dependency injection at least. So now I can click on and uh, show details. You can see a lot of the rings is right over here at the top. This means that we are actually passing in the movie in a constructor argument. So there you have it. You just learned how to do a dependency injection when you're using storyboards in iOS 13. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to go on Udemy and check out my courses. This is my latest course, which is called Swift UI Declarative Interfaces for any Apple device. This is on the Swift UI framework that Apple just released at WW 2019. There is five hours of content, which includes gestures, includes MVVM, fetching information from a web API, Xcode previews, integrating Swift UI, custom views, and so on. I'm still working on a couple of sections, but uh, you can get started and start building amazing applications using Swift UI. Now, and this is important, the link to this course is already in the Udemy description, along with other links to my other courses. So if you're interested in, let's say, MVVM design pattern, in iOS, then there's a course for that. If you're interested in augmented reality, there's a course for that. And most of those links are actually added in the description of the YouTube video that you're watching. I would really appreciate if you use those links. You will get the best deal if you click on the link and use it. And I keep to uh, get more revenue from those links. Because if you use my coupon, my links, I get to keep like 90%. If you don't use my link, I get to keep 10%. So, you know, and you'll get the best deal. That's the best part. So check out my other courses. All the links are in the YouTube description. And uh, thank you very much. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.